In this video, I'm going to be prepping and installing my Mach 1 bumper on my 2022 Mustang GT. I apologize in advance because I was not feeling the best when I filmed this and really didn't feel like talking to the camera, so I am just doing a voiceover for now. I have been feeling a little bit down about all of the social media stuff and a little bit burnt out and that's why I didn't feel like talking to the camera, but I should have done it. I really wanted to make a video anyways, so here I am. Prepping the bumper was not really that hard and it took about an hour, so it didn't take super long, but you're going to want to prep any surface that is going to be painted, otherwise um, your paint could possibly flake off after it gets done. So I know I unboxed my Mach 1 bumper like three months ago, it seems like, and I never got around to installing it because I was waiting on it to get painted, but now it is finally painted and I'm going to be putting it on the car today. This is my spare bedroom, but it is my parts room at this point because I have... <laughs> Wait. But I did get some new stuff for the SN95. Um, I haven't showed you guys and I haven't really updated you guys on what's going on with the SN95. But I'm going to be doing a video here soon to explain everything that's been going on with the SN and where we're at with it. And yeah, so let me show you what I got. So I needed new tail lights and I decided to get these. Super, super excited for it. And then to go with these, the tail lights, we have something else. Headlights. So I am really excited about those. I think they're gonna look really good on the car, so. Out with the old. I will say these um, plastic pieces on the sides of the bumpers where the fog lights go, they were very difficult to get in because of the plastic being so tough. And since Nick does body work for a living, I had him put both sides in for me because I could not get it for anything. <laughs> Here I'm just going through putting these little washer things on the um, clip part of the lip. I can't remember exactly what they're called and I kept calling them nut washers, but I know that's not right. I will show you here in a second when I'm done putting them all in. And ta-da! I literally cannot get over this paint. I've had my car for almost two years now and I just love the paint color. It's crazy. And you'll need to attach this little piece on the corner that the lip attaches to. And this piece is what mounts to your fender liner. And you just place it like so.
heads in the way. <laughs> Bunny, are you watching? <laughs> Smelling it. All right, can you watch out? It won't fall out, will it? Oh, okay. So this bracket goes on to hold your fog light in place, like so. So Auto Addict provides you with little push pins, but I felt more comfortable using a bolt and a nut to attach this, so that's what I did. I used, um, I think, 12 to 10 of those. One other thing I totally forgot to mention is that we did have to trim the side a little bit to make the bracket fit. Basically, this piece yeah, right here is hitting where the the light is going. Right here, right. This that is hitting this. And this here, that piece, the inside piece. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So I've got a bunch of fingerprints on here but it looks freaking awesome. <laughs> 